Hey everybody, Sam from SK. Today's vlog episode is really exciting. I'm gonna actually do a taste test, kind of deep dive into the three coffees we're featuring in the 2019 uh, SK Holiday Gift Box. Exploring the art of process. What do I mean about process? Well, basically, the farmer grows the tree, right? Which is a tropical cherry plant, essentially. Right, so it's an agricultural product. But then, as we know, the final product for us is not at all, it does not look at all like a cherry, right? So they have to be able to depulp that and get to the bean, which is actually the pit, a dense pit of, of that tropical cherry. So how they get that bean out of the cherry um, is what's called the process, essentially, right? It's processing that. Um, there are various different ways of um, processing that, that coffee. And in this gift box, we actually are featuring three of the sort of well-known uh, uh, processes. The first process we're gonna focus on, which you're gonna be getting a, a, a nice 12 ounce bag of this, is your kind of standard, kind of traditional style coffee. We're bringing this to you from Colombia. It's a nice Colombian washed process. So as a wash process, basically you take that cherry off the tree. This is an expedited version. Cherry off the tree, depulp it in some kind of mill, either hand cranked or a mechanical mill and it depulps the cherry uh, beans or the pit rather kind of wash down in these water troughs you kind of see these people with rakes raking this water trough and that washes it they sit in these vats to kind of further um, uh, smoothen or like loosen the mucilage from the insides of the cherry off the, the bean wash it one more time and then dry them under uh, the sun, basically on raised beds or on the ground, whatever the, um, the processing producers uh, have available to them. That's the wash process, the most popular process right now in specialty coffee and really all coffee. So I'm gonna try this Colombian washed process. Um, chocolatey, this one, like I said, is super traditional. Yeah, yeah, really easy. Nutty, um, has some like pretty rich fudge note to it. Um, milk chocolate fudge, I'd say. So it's a smooth coffee. So that is the wash process from Colombia. The second process we're gonna focus on is called the natural process. If there's a wash processor, the natural is um, in some ways the very opposite of that. So what you do to get the uh, pit or bean out of the cherry, so you actually just pluck the cherry off the tree, dry it inside the cherry rind and cherry skin and everything under largely the sun, some call it the sun-dried method. Um, and then that sits there for up to over 30 days sometimes. So the wash process can be, you know, a week maybe, uh, 30 days, an entire month drying under the, uh, under the sun. The natural process almost always uh, has some kind of bright fruity note to it. This year for our gift box, we're actually focusing on a slightly more rooted natural process from Guatemala. Not sure why, um, lots of different factors, but it has that like very subtle cherry raspberry note, um, but with a really nice foundation of almost like dark chocolate. But let's try it. So you really get the subtle cherry raspberry notes on the nose. You guys, this is a fantastic coffee. It's still smooth, creamy. It has that rootedness, which actually comes right then on the palate. So you sip. You get a lot of juicy, um, fruitiness to it, uh, not citrusy necessarily, right at the front. As that rests on the palate, that's where you're getting some of that rooted dark chocolate notes to it. Third and final is a very special coffee. It's uh, both the most expensive coffee we've ever sourced, um, 
but also the, the reason behind that expense is the experimental processes that are going on at the farm. So our friends at Finca La Julia down in Colombia, uh, we source it through a fantastic uh, importing, exporting partner called Caravella Coffee. Um, they actually f were founded in Colombia. So they have a really well-rooted uh, program and process down down there. So they work with Finca La Julia, and this is specifically Nicolas Ocampa Maya, a fantastic farmer. I think they're third generation farmers down there. This process is actually borrowed from the wine world. It's called the carbonic maceration fermentation. Um, what does that mean? He ferments them in these big barrels inside the cherry, uh, closes the system off with water, and then removes all the oxygen and then adds a carbon rich environment to it. Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, how that messes with the microbial system in there, but that's essentially what we're trying to do with these experimental fermentations and experimental processes, is to try and encourage and coax and bring out certain flavors of the bean and the pit itself. Okay, experimental fermentation, think of La Julia, from Colombia, carbonic maceration. Oh, it's so sweet on the nose. It's like jammy, jammy fruit. I also have watermelon on some of the, uh, on, on the tasting notes. And that, I'm, I'm not sure what I mean, but there's that like refreshing, like light quality to watermelon juice, but it's also rimy, right? There, there, there's a lot of um, spongy material in a, in a, in, a, in a watermelon. Boom, like the natural process right away, you get that amazing jammy quality to it. But as that sits right around, there's this amazing um, savory quality to it. Uh, one of my one of my good buddies actually d described it as like fine sweet tobacco, and I totally agree. It's it's still sweet, um, but it has that kind of herbaceous quality to it. Not offensive in any way, just complex, right? This is so multi-layered. Certainly three dimensional, um, but even within each phase and uh, of the narrative tasting arc, you're getting layers within. All right, well, there you go. That is our 2019 SK Coffee holiday gift box, exploring the art of process, washed, natural, experimental fermentation. You gotta check it out. There's limited quantities. I think we can only sell 70 of these boxes this year. So get yours soon. Um, if you liked this video or other videos, click like and then subscribe to our channel because I, I release a new video uh, every other week, kind of bi-weekly. So thanks for watching, see you next time.